The trees are here. This is all mint. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time for a garden update. So we started the makeover of our garden a few weeks ago. Um, we've been living in this house for almost a year now. We're coming up on a year and we're finally in a position to start customizing our garden, making it a little bit more ours. So in the last video, we made some plans as to what we want the garden to look like. And we slowly started implementing some changes. And in this video, We've done a lot more and I'm really excited to show you. But before we jump into that, let's take a look at the before situation. This is what the garden looked like when we started this makeover. And there were a lot of things about it that aren't really to our liking. There are some major things that we would like to change eventually somewhere down the line. But, you know, with renovating an entire home we can't do everything all at once so for this year we're just kind of working with what we have and making it more our own with the things that are already in here and basically just adding a lot onto that so i made this little sketch <laughs> of what we eventually want the whole thing to look like we are aiming towards a english cottage style garden that's kind of the vibe that we're going for mixed with a little bit of contemporary i guess kind of like our home it's it's kind of cottage style but mixed with modern elements and that's just a style i really like i am also personally very drawn to white and purple flowers like a, a cool color scheme with mostly whites blues and purples that's what i've always had in our outdoor spaces but i really want to implement that in this garden as well so that is the color scheme that we're mostly working with about that color scheme though we are not dead set on that the previous owners had lots of pink in the garden and we're not going to get rid of any of those plants we're leaving the hydrangeas they're pink uh the rhododendron is pink there are some perennials that have pink flowers as well we don't want to take any plants away from this garden only add more i'm tired of looking at these dead planters and that one, and that one. So I got some flowers and I'm gonna plant those now. Get a bit of spring cheer into this garden. The first thing that we actually started doing, finally started doing, is painting the fence, which was so necessary because this thing was bright, shining white, and everybody in our street hated it. When we started painting this, several neighbors came up to us to tell us they're so happy we're painting the fence, which was actually hilarious. The white was not a popular choice in the neighborhood. So we're painting all of the wood brown, and we're painting all of the metal black to make it a lot more inconspicuous and just blend into the background a little bit more, which is gonna make the garden look a lot larger. It's a very exciting day today. So first of all, I think I should update you on the fence. That was definitely a two-day job. My gosh, that was so much work. But we did it, my friend and I painted the front and the back of the fence and it is now a lovely brown color rather than that very stark shining white. We'll get a top view from the attic. <laughs> so there we have it, there's our garden and that is what the fence currently looks like and I absolutely love it. It is such an improvement. Oh. We still have to do all of the, the like I think it's iron, maybe stainless, no it's not, no. 
iron, I think, um, that the fence is hung up on. All of that's gonna be black. We have a nice dark kind of like charcoal gray paint for that. It's not exactly like stark black, but yeah, it's gonna be charcoal-y. But what's happening today is the trees are arriving. So I don't know if you remember when I made my little drawing, we're gonna have one tree up here and one tree up here. And they're gonna be pretty high, I think. They'll come up to like here probably. And those are gonna hide the view from the neighbors across the little water there um, that we can wave at <laughs> from our house. So yeah, it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. And they should be arriving in like half an hour. So, oh, I can't wait. The trees are here. We've planted them. And oh my gosh. Ta-da! I absolutely cannot wait for them to grow leaves and cover all this. They are very young. Let me actually take you up there. They're very young, so it's gonna take a while until they completely cover up this frame, but there's quite a few twigs on there already, and I, I'm hopeful that this will look good. And there are little buds on it already, so it shouldn't take too long until some leaves appear on here. And this is a beech, or these are both beech trees. They are native, that was very important. We wanna make sure to have a good balance here of native plants and just like more decorative plants. Yeah, so these are definitely native and they should retain their leaves. The leaves do go brown in autumn, but they should retain them until the new green ones come out. So that is great and they look absolutely wonderful. While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some other stuff that I've planted because I went to the garden center twice, I think, in the past couple of weeks. And I have just been planting loads of stuff around here. So first off, I got these. We, we still have these planters from our balcony from the apartment in Amsterdam. So I just decided to hang them on the fence just until we get some trailing plants growing here. I think this is nice to fill it up a little bit, get something happening here. So I planted these, they're so cute. Those violets actually popped up on their own. I didn't plant any this year, but they just appeared <laughs> out of nowhere. I used to have white ones and these lighter purple ones and darker purple ones. And the darker purple ones are obviously the most persistent because those are the ones that popped back up. But I love that, so I'm definitely leaving those. So I talked about wanting to plant some planters with herbs so here they are i have a couple of them here i got these really nice black planters that have um a really cool water retention and drainage system on the bottom so they, so they should be better for the plants themselves and in here i have some thyme rosemary obviously this is all mint this is lemon balm and we have some parsley here and eventually I would like to have just one herb per planter and just have loads of them. But starting off with this, and this is just wonderful already. Oh, my pear tree. Look at my pear tree, guys. It is thriving and looks absolutely wonderful. There only ever was one blossom. You can see right here. It's all um, dried out. But yeah, that's the only blossom. So that's the only pear potential that we have. Exactly one. One pear potential. <laughs> Um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys. That's not pear potential, that is straight up a baby pear. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> I was not expecting that, but that is for sure a tiny pear. <gasps> wow, wow. I thought it would be years until we would get any fruit off of this, but great job. Wow, we're getting a pear. I love this so much. Hydrangea is growing leaves again, which is great. I bought this mix of plants that thrive in the shadow um, for the shadowy side of our garden. I wanted to get some color in there, something that would bloom and flower. So yeah, this is a mix. It has one of those, five of these beautiful, beautiful white ones, one of those, one of those and two Hoyas. This is the area we're, go we're getting rid of that because we have a nicer bird bath now. We just need to put that up a little higher somehow. But um, yeah, this is the area. It's covered up by the ivy and the sun comes from that side. So this is usually in shadow. And I've planted them here. Yeah, the three, the three colorful ones, the three purple ones are here. I've planted these white ones here and then the Hoyas I put those 
back there behind the rhododendron. So those are right there. That's also a more shadowy area. This is a hellebore replanted that. It was uh, where that tree is now planted. So that is here. But as you can see, there is still a lot more room here for many, many more plants. Now I am heading to the garden center with my mother-in-law this weekend and we're gonna get a bunch more plants, but there is still more room. So what I also got is this mix this purple flower mix and um, that is just seeds so when i plant this i'm just gonna have to hope <laughs> that something comes of it but i think it should and it features all of these beautiful flowers so i'm planning to kind of just sow this everywhere where we don't end up with plants this year obviously we're gonna build this garden over the years we can't do everything all at once and we need to also see how things develop how big things grow and stuff like that um but for now for this year i want to just plant i want to just fill everything else all the bare soil with these flowers and in the front garden as well there is one bit that is just um overgrown with ivy and i want to tear all the ivy out and so these flower seeds in there. I'll probably get to that this weekend. Oh, and there is one more thing that I bought. Yes, I, I am just going all out in this garden. But I got this planter, planter with a trellis. It's gonna look like this once it's built. And that is gonna go right there. That is the previous owner's garden uh, furniture set that they left for us. And we want to offer that uh, for someone to come pick up online like maybe facebook marketplace or something but yeah the the planter with the trellis is gonna go right here and it's gonna cover up those bins so yeah it's just gonna be right there and we're gonna have some trailing plants along there just have to pick out which ones we're gonna go for looking great but loads more to do still there's also we have been lifting up some of the tiles and putting those away you can see there's a little pile here and more back there but um yeah still we're <laughs> taking out more tile. Uh, we also took some out behind here. We need to get rid of this planter. This is also the previous owners, but it's plastic. We don't like it. So we're going to get rid of that. But we removed some tiles here. And we're probably going to remove the two that this is standing on as well. Just to create a little nook. Like the seating area is going to be a little nook. Once we remove those. This, I believe, um, has chrysanthemums. So I'm fairly sure those will pop up again when autumn comes around. So I'm probably gonna leave that. Oh, and another thing I'm considering, we need to get rid of this palette by the way, is to paint these planters, like spray paint them a different color because I still feel like this garden is very orange, which also has to do with the color of the houses back there. There's a bit too, or too much orange in here to my liking. So yeah, I might... Um, Go ahead and paint some things. Oh, and of course, you still have to paint the white on the fence there, but making great progress and I'm very, very happy. Time for another plant haul. We were very, very successful at the garden center. So first of all, we have some beautiful jasmine. Oh, absolutely can't wait. It's gonna go on there, grow on this trellis. So I think this should be enough. They are fairly full and growing. Since they're so tall, I'm quite confident that we'll be able to break them through that trellis and it's just gonna look awesome and then we got some shrubs here so this this plant oh my gosh guys i saw it in the store a couple of them were blooming and it is just absolutely stunning so we um, found a couple ones that haven't bloomed yet so they still have buds i have a darker purple one and this is a lighter purple more like a lilac in color so this is gonna be really really cute i got that nice evergreen plant with a very interesting sculptural shape which is gonna give some uh, winter interest to the garden this flowering shrub with absolutely stunning bright blue flowers which somehow look purple on camera but i swear to you these are a very rich deep blue I don't know what, why it's not translating like that on camera, but absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna plant that as well. And then this, oh, look how cute this is. This almost looks like hydrangea flowers, but like little balls and let's see, I have the name of it here, Viburnum. Stunning, stunning. So I'm gonna plant that as well. It's not raining right now, so let's do it.
A little update on my seedlings. It's a sad update. <laughs> none of these sprouted, none of them. I think they were just too old and not kept in a way that is seed friendly, so unfortunately. However, my burning passion or whatever it was called, flowers are doing great. So, so I'm gonna have to repot this soon and give it more space. And I think this is gonna flower beautifully. So yeah, this is the only thing that survived. All of my supermarket veggies and flowers are dead. Merp, merp. Let me give you a final look at the current state of the garden. We got a lot done throughout this episode. There is much more to do still, but let's have a little overview. So starting here, we have flowers still that palette to get rid of. This is getting picked up later today by someone. So that's gonna be gone after today, which is fantastic. There'll be some room here for more planters. We have some flowers over there. My jasmine, oh gosh, guys, I cannot wait for this to flower the jasmine and I planted some lavender down there just to fill up this planter and this is perfect for the purpose that we want it for now. However, it does hide the bins quite beautifully the way I had hoped but I don't think it does so well enough so we have decided that eventually we're gonna place the bins inside the garage over there but we need to empty that out first. There is uh, a lot more stuff similar to this. <laughs> that we want to either sell or donate in there. So we need to empty that out first and then we can just place the bins inside during summer and in winter we can have them out here so they're easier to access from the home. But in summer, it's not a problem to walk up there. For now, until we get that emptied out, it's hidden by this trellis, which is absolutely lovely. Moving on here, lots of plants, more to come, of course. I haven't sowed my seeds yet, uh, but that's coming. And in a couple of weeks, things should slowly start flowering even more than they are doing now. My herb planters over here, this is all gonna flower eventually. Those are some perennial flowers. Hydrangea is coming back to life. My pear tree, we've all seen my little baby pear. <laughs> I'm so excited by. That's gonna have lovely purple flowers, as is that. This is actually starting to flower. So those are gonna come out very, very soon. That's a flowering perennial, those are irises and one of them is going to bloom very soon. I don't know if you can tell, there's a flower coming out right there. This plant, obviously, which is new and somehow my rhododendron seems to finally be blooming. We, it hasn't bloomed uh, since we first came here, which was over a year ago now, so we should have seen it in bloom. But last year it just it didn't, it didn't bloom. And now it seems to be popping. It is a very bright pink which is a little unfortunate. I'm not super into that color in the garden. You may know I prefer purple and white. <laughs> and this is a very, very bright pink, but I'm sure it's gonna be gorgeous once it blooms. We have our trees that I can't wait to grow leaves. My egg chair, which I absolutely adore. It was so beautiful and sunny yesterday and I just sat in there all afternoon. It was absolutely lovely. So we are gonna get another bench and some kind of table like side table uh, situation here so that we can finish off this seating area. But yeah, I have this little plant over here. We want to plant something higher. We are st still thinking lilac, a lilac bush here, something, yeah, something higher to give a bit more dimension to that part. There is some green coming out <laughs> of the little bulbs I planted here. So that's good, I'm sure. Those are probably gonna pop up fairly soon. That one seems to be doing well too, right over there. So we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, that is kind of the state of the garden so far. Oh, oh, and of course we painted the fence. All the last bits that were still white are now black and it looks fantastic. However, these bits that were taped off got torn off, so I'm gonna have to go back and buy more of that brown paint and just touch this up, but it's gonna be good. And this looks gorgeous now, very, very happy with that much nicer than the white, uh, much more inconspicuous. It just blends into the background much better. So what we still want to do is, first of all, remove more tiles. There is still a lot of room here, especially once we do put the bins inside the garage, we'll be able to take out all of these tiles here, just all the way up to the terrace um, and plant and have plants all in there. And I think it would be great to make a little vegetable patch here or grow some edible plants right next to the house. I think that would be lovely. So eventually we'd like to do that. Not sure if that's gonna happen this year, might be next year, but yeah. Yeah, removing more tile there in any case. We're gonna remove um, 
those two tiles, I think, and then a couple over there to create a kind of like a rounded shape, just like we have here on that part as well. Um, just to have even more space for plants. We're gonna power wash the tiles that are remaining that we are keeping for now. We're gonna borrow a power washer and just um, <laughs> get all of those to be pretty much the same color, hopefully. Oh, I didn't show you my planting table here. This is the table that we had on our balcony. Excuse me. Thank you. So this is the table that we had on our balcony in Amsterdam and it's now my potting table. So it's it's covered here, but it's still in the outside area, which is perfect so I can just sweep away any dirt um, and I don't have to use the lovely dinner table for that. So yeah, potting table. We're still debating whether we want to remove tiles here or just put lots of planters down in pots. Uh, but yeah, something needs to come here. So lots more to do still, but we're making fantastic progress and it's already looking so much better and so much more like the drawing that I made. So I'm very, very excited. So thank you guys so much for following along. I really hope you enjoy it. I will post another update at some point later uh, in the season when everything starts flowering and I can show you what it looks like in full bloom. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous, I'm sure. But yeah, it's gonna be a couple of months probably until the next update so that there's a bit of a difference that I can show you. I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you did enjoy and subscribe to see the rest of the home and garden updates and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!